100% disk usage can be attributed to many different things. Old struggling hard drives, trying to run processes too demanding for your machine, etc. Before we begin, few things have been as important to personal computing than the solid state drive. If you find that your computer is struggling and sluggish and following this information in this video still doesn't seem to fix it, then what I would recommend next is to swap out your mechanical hard drive for an SSD. They can be bought for as low as $20 now, and they will significantly speed up your boot times and load times on your computer. It is by far the best way to breathe new life into an aging machine. Better than adding more RAM, better than an upgraded CPU in that socket set, it will make the most noticeable difference. So the first thing that you're going to do is open up Task Manager, and if you don't know how to do that, it's Control alt delete and you can go to Task Manager and push OK, or you can go to Start, go to Search, and type Task Manager, and it's right there. So I'm gonna go over to performance. As you can see, I have three disks. Uh, this is an SSD and these are two mechanicals. Um, this is boot and data. So I'm gonna artificially increase my disk usage here. And so yours should look something like this, um, where it's at 100%. So if you go over to processes, you should be able to see what process is using your disk the most. So as you can see here, artificially, I'm making this crystal disk mark is using my disk the most. So Find whatever process it is, if it's Photoshop or Word or whatever, just happens to be misusing your disk. Right click on it, go end task. As you can see here, uh, the disk will start to fall in its usage and hopefully that fixes your problem. Now you know at least what is causing it. If that doesn't fix it, move on to the next tip. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try turning off Windows Search. So to do that, we're gonna to go to our start, we're gonna find search, we're gonna type CMD for command prompt, we're gonna find it, should look like this, right click on it and run as administrator. You'll have a pop-up, just say yes. With the command prompt up, we're gonna type net.exe space stop windows space search and press enter. It's gonna say Windows Search is stopping and the Windows Search service was stopped successfully. Now this is just stopping the service. We haven't disabled the service. So check to see if this has made a difference. If it has, you can do this next step. If it hasn't, skip this next step. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna push Windows key. At, at the same time, we're gonna push R and this box will pop up. And in the open, we're gonna type services.msc. That's a run command. We're gonna have this mess of a uh, window pop up. In this mess, we're gonna look for Windows Search. So we're gonna go down to W and we're gonna find Windows Search. We're gonna double click on it. And under Startup Type, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna select Disabled. We're gonna push Apply and OK. Hopefully that worked for you. If it didn't, we're moving on to the next thing you can try. So the next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna try turning off Superfetch. So Superfetch service in Windows has been determined for a long time that it's uh, main call print. So the next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna try turning off Superfetch. Uh, Superfetch service in Windows has been determined as a potential for 100% uh, disk issue in Windows 10 for quite a while. Uh, so it's the same process as what we just did. So we're gonna go to start, find search, type CMD, right click on it, run as administrator, yes. And the window will pop up again. So we're gonna type net.exe space stop space Superfetch. We're gonna click enter and it's gonna say that it's stopping once it stops successfully again now you're gonna check to see if that helped if it did help what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Windows key and R again you're gonna go to services.msc once more this whole mess is gonna open up again and you're gonna look for super fetch so you're gonna go down to S's Find Superfetch, double click on it, under startup type, go down to disabled, apply and okay. If that didn't help, we're moving on. So the next thing that we're gonna try is we're gonna try resetting your virtual memory in Windows 10. So virtual memory uh, uses your disk as RAM when your computer runs out of your RAM and it will use your system drive to store temporary files and then it'll swap those files back and forth when it needs them. Uh, 
then it kind of can be considered the same as physical memory, even though that the performance is nowhere near the same. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push Windows key and E. You're gonna go over to my, this PC. You're gonna right click on this PC and you're gonna go to properties. You're gonna find advanced system settings in the top left here. You're gonna click it. Under performance, you're gonna go to settings. Under settings, under performance options, you're gonna go to advanced. And then under virtual memory, you're gonna click change. Now you can test if this is gonna work by unchecking this and checking this and setting it to no page file size. And if that does help, then you know what the issue is and you can just keep it as no paging file. It just means that your system is probably running out of RAM. So the next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna remove all Windows temporary files. Uh, temporary files are whenever you open up a program and it doesn't, it's, it's not saving something to the disk, it's just temporarily saving something to use it later and then it'll get rid of it. Um, so we're gonna open up uh, the run with the Windows key and R, and what we're gonna type is temp, and click OK, and these are all temporary files. Select them all, hold shift, and click delete, and do you want to permanently delete all these files and say, you'll click yes, I'm gonna click no. Um, I would advise restarting a computer after this because if you don't, it can cause some issues. If, if there's something that is still being used in here, then it won't let you delete it. So I would say, to... so this next one might seem self-explanatory, but if you use antivirus and for instance, Norton, so I'm gonna pull up Norton here real quick. Norton is a notorious system hog. So Norton can definitely be attributed to a high disk usage. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna shut off everything for Norton. So, or whatever antivirus you just happen to be using. Uh, Avis, whatever the other ones are. Um, so you're gonna go to advanced. You're gonna turn all this off for 15 minutes. So let's say just everything here, click close. See if that helps your disk issue. If it does, then you know what the issue is. But if it doesn't, we're running on options, but we're moving into the next one. So this next one is especially important if you're a person like me and you keep 5,000 tabs open in Chrome at all times. Uh, Chrome is a giant hog of especially RAM and it can attribute to high disk usage. So you're gonna go up into the settings uh, and you're gonna click settings and then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find advanced and you're gonna find where it says use a prediction service to load pages more quickly and you're gonna make sure that's turned off. Hopefully one of these things has helped you. If nothing has worked, then at the last resort, rather than pissing around and trying to track down an issue for the next week, just give a format a try. This usually fixes 99.9% .9 of issues, unless it's hardware. The short and sweet of it is just buy a solid state drive. Nothing is worth the money more than Windows booting in under 10 seconds. Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please consider subscribing or at the very least leave a like, write a comment, I'd like to hear from you guys. Hopefully you never need my help again, but if you do, you know where to find me. As always, this is Straight to the Point. Thanks for watching.